everyone. Happy Wednesday. Hope you are having a great day. Hope you are pumped for NXT tonight. Uh, we had a lot going on this previous week in wrestling, so we're going to get right to it. Of course, we're going to talk about the Royal Rumble this past Sunday. Um, we got a lot to cover. We're just going to get right into it, do some quick highlights and things like that. Uh, Pre-show, Nia and Shayna regained their women's tag team titles, so congratulations to those ladies. Really excited about that. Uh, Drew McIntyre versus Goldberg. Uh, was not as bad as I thought it was going to be, honestly. Um, Drew McIntyre retained, and uh, it was a nice quick match. It was really explosive, um, so I didn't mind that it was short, and I also didn't necessarily even mind that it was Goldberg, um, because it was a quick match, it was exciting, it was explosive, um, there's a lot of energy there, so um, it was actually it was actually pretty enjoyable, honestly. Uh and again, Drew McIntyre, still WWE champion there. Sasha Banks also retained her title against Carmella. Uh, good match. Definitely one of my favorite match. You guys know I love Sasha. So uh, that was really enjoyable. And then the Women's Royal Rumble. We got to talk about this one. Uh, this was actually... I, I did prefer this to the men's. Uh, just because there was a lot of... Ex um, there was a lot of uh, excitement. There was a lot of uh, different... There was a lot of moving parts in this one. Let me put it like that. Um, and I don't just mean, like, literally, because there's 30 women. Um, but there was, like, an interesting story going on uh, surrounding Billy Kay, who has been looking for a tag team partner, looking for someone to kind of, um, I don't know, either manage or hang out with or click with or, you know, join with. Um, but she has been on a desperate search, resume in hand, to try and find... Uh, somebody who will be her companion or her tag team partner or her what have you. Uh, Billy just wants some friends at this point. She tried to team up with Jillian Hall in this match who came out, which was a pretty cool surprise. Nice to see Jillian Hall again. She's a lot of fun. Um, Billy and Jilly. So they decided that, um, you know, after a few people entered the Rumble, Billy came out pretty early in it. She was kind of hanging out on the outside looking for somebody that she could, um, you know, kind of uh, double team this thing with. So she finally finds Jillian Hall, who agrees, finally, somebody agrees to hang out with Billy. So they enter together. And um, there was just a lot of um, backstory with all of this. You have Billy and Jilly here, uh, newly united. and But then Billy Kay also has her history with the, with the Riot Squad, who she is fond of. Uh, they don't necessarily return this fondness for her, but um, she is fond of them. And then, of course, we had Peyton Royce in there, too. Uh, this is this was the dynamic that I was most excited about and honestly a little disappointed with um, because I don't think they really played this out to the fullest. Um, I would have loved to see a bigger reunion with Billy, Billy Kay and Peyton. Um, a bigger Iconics reunion. It seemed like they didn't really do too much with them. Uh, there was a slight little moment in the middle of the match, but um, I, I, I don't know. I was a little disappointed there, but still, it was it was an exciting, it was a fun Royal Rumble. Um, I enjoyed uh, the surprises. We had Tori Wilson, Mickey James, uh, Alicia Fox, which was nice to see those two who are rumored to be retired, but even if this was just a one-shot deal, which I hope at least... I'm a fan of both Mickey James and Alicia Fox, but from what I hear with Mickey James, um, I'm hoping that this wasn't just a one-shot deal with her, uh, and that she she gets more spots um, because she certainly deserves it. Um, nice to see Dakota Kai in there, and I kind of thought that that would mean we'd see Raquel, but we didn't. Um, it was also nice to see Alexa Bliss in there once um, because there is a heavy rumor going around that she was going to enter three different times, or like different, you know, or at least twice different characters, um, but that did not happen, which I'm glad, because I th really felt that there was a lot of ready going on with this Rumble, um, it was just fun and exciting, and I loved it, you know, it, it was really, uh, really just a fun break in the show, real fun to watch, uh, so then we had Roman versus Kevin Owens, uh, Roman Reigns retained here, uh, people did not like the end because, yes, it was not exactly smooth. Um, nobody's fault there. Sometimes equipment has malfunctions. But, um, you know what? I liked it because it looked legit. It looked, you know, they couldn't get the handcuffs off. You know, like, uh, it, it was a little awkward with that second referee he, that he just randomly stopped counting. Like, I wish, uh, you know, Paul would have went over and shook him or Roman would have hit him too or something. They, maybe they could have 
went a little smoother at the end there. Uh, overall, that didn't take away from the match for me. The match, just they were just um, driving home the point that you were going to have to pretty much shoot Kevin Owens to keep him down. Like, he... Roman was putting him through everything, throwing him through everything, throwing off of everything, and he just, he would not quit. He would not stay down for the 10, uh, as this was the last man standing. Um, but uh, I, I liked the end. I liked um, the idea of the handcuffs, and we thought that that was going to be it, and then that wasn't it, and Roman was finally, finally able to get out of those. And he ended up choking Kevin out, which I think actually was a really great finish, because after all that... You are not going to be able to hit Kevin in any sort of way or damage him in any sort of way to keep him down for 10. Uh, that was the point, the story they were driving home this match that just wasn't going to happen. He needed to be unconscious, which was what ended the match. Um, Edge wins the Men's Royal Rumble. Uh, decent Royal Rumble, honestly. Not one of my favorites. Uh, last year's was better, in my opinion. But um, it just wasn't as fun as the women's. It wasn't exciting to me. Uh, there was a few little moments. I actually enjoyed the reunion with Edge and Christian more than I did Edge even winning the Royal Rumble. Um, Edge just looks so legitimately moved and teary-eyed to see Christian in there. Like, his facial expression, I was like, oh my gosh. It, that was just, that was so touching. Um, real heartfelt moment. Nice to see Carlito back, and he was on Raw as well, um, on Monday. So it looks like he is at least temporarily sticking around, which is good news. Uh, you gotta have a Royal Rumble with Kane, so it was cool to see Kane there. Nice to see, uh, you know, his political career does not, uh, you know, get in the way of him still having some fun in there. So that was good. Uh, Seth Rollins back, he seems to be still doing the same character, which, um, I kind of figured this would be a nice time to hit a hard reset, reset on Seth. Um, but it looks like they are, they are sticking with, um, his Messiah gimmick, so... Uh, that's what we have, and since Edge won, will he be facing the obvious choice, which would be Roman Reigns? Uh, he did have interactions with Drew McIntyre on Raw, albeit weird as they were, uh, but then again, that is Raw for you. Um, or Finn. So, I guess we'll see who Edge picks in the coming weeks. Uh, so that was the Raw Rumble. Um, decent to good show, in my opinion. Nothing... That made me jump out of my seat, but, um, you know, enjoyable. Uh, you know, on a, a, a okay level, I guess. Uh, I wasn't overwhelmed. But anyways, uh, so speaking of overwhelmed, though, let's segue into NXT UK. Because this brand is overwhelming. This brand is an embarrassment of riches, okay? You have Ben Carter versus Sam Gradwell, which both of those guys, Ben is pretty, he's pretty new. He, he's only been on for a few weeks now. Um, and already, I think this is his, this was his second or third match versus Gradwell. Um, already he's off to a hot fire start, um, making waves, getting a lot of talk, trained by Seth Rollins, uh, getting comparisons to AJ Styles, so Ben is well on his way here. Uh, Sam Gradwell is so enjoyable, he is so unique. Um, there, you just, sometimes you say that, what else can you do in wrestling? Things that haven't been done. It is, I've never seen anything like Sam Gradwell. He's very interesting, to say the least. So if you want somebody unique, somebody that's pretty out there, um, you know, I don't want to say too much, but, you know, go check out NXT UK. Go check out Sam Gradwell because he is so much fun to watch. Fatal 4-Way uh, tag team match for the number one contender for Gales' titles. On. Freaking believable match, and, Imper and Imperium's not even in it. So, but we'll, we'll get to them later, though. Um, but this was The Hunt versus Oliver Carter and Ashton Smith versus Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster versus Pretty Deadly. And I am so excited to see Pretty Deadly pick up the win here. Uh, Pretty Deadly is an amazing tag team. I've been watching them since Progress Wrestling. Um... And they, given the opportunity, in my opinion, based on the stuff I've seen on them when they wrestled for progress, um, they are completely capable of putting on a takeover quality match. I love these two guys. They are more than just two pretty faces. They are excellent in the ring. Uh, this was an amazing match that at any point in time could have gone anyway. Uh, high quality, top-notch action. Just, like I said, this brand in general... 
Brian Carter's still new. Um, I hear they signed Lucky Kid from Germany, which I'm so, so excited about. I am a huge fan of Lucky Kid from WXW, uh, West Side Extreme Wrestling. I, in, honestly, at the time I was watching that consistently, uh, he was one of my top five favorite wrestlers in the world. The top five most talented, in my opinion. Uh, I don't mean to oversell you on Lucky here. Just, you know, you know, we'll see what we get and we can enjoy him. But a Lucky Kid is a top-tier wrestler. Um, you know, also talk Mako, Mako Satomori recently signed. Uh, and um, also talk that William Regal's son is signing with NXT UK. So we have a lot going on on that brand. We already have a lot, and now we're adding all these people to the mix. This brand is so, it's on fire. This is the, this is the can't-miss brand. Um, I don't know what else to say to you guys. Just please watch NXT UK, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, if you just love high-quality, fantastic matches, just great in-ring competition... Uh, this brand is for you, and this brand is for me. I love this brand. Um, just want to touch on two things real quick, going a little long in the video. Uh, I did watch Superstar Spectacle, so I just want to give a quick, um, mention of them. Uh, I would recommend this show. Um, I watched it because I love seeing new talent. I love seeing new cultures as well. Um, and this was a very positive, very inspirational show, and it comes at a very good time. It was, to me, it was honestly a very emotional show. Um, to hear, I'm, I don't want to get emotional just talking about it, but to hear the stories of what some of these people have been through, um, everybody is on their way up here. They are still on that developmental journey. Um, you're, I, I just want to tell you ahead of time, if you want, you know, a fun show, an inspirational show, an uplifting show, uh, not to say that ever that people are terrible in the ring because they certainly are not. You're not gonna, in my opinion, see any five star matches here. But um, it's just it, it's an important show to watch, so I would highly recommend it. Also, they had um, a halftime show of their own. They had an Indian performance art dance, and honestly, I will I would buy a ticket to watch a show like that. It is so beautiful. I love Indian performance dance. Um, I wish that would have been the halftime show at the Royal Rumble. I wish that would be the halftime show for the Super Bowl. Um, I It's so beautiful. I loved it. So they quite, put on quite a spectacle. So you had the, the wrestling. You had the stories. You had all these new debuts. Um, so, you know, I, I would, if you, have, if you have some time, I think it was about an hour and a half long, I would recommend checking them out. NXT, did you guys see that new hype video? That sweet, super awesome, badass Video package for Imperium. All my boys are regrouping, and I love it. And getting the band back together, hopefully. I don't know what the travel restrictions are with Pandemic still, but it does look like it's going in the right direction, as they referenced in the video, that they are better together, and um, that they have accomplished a lot while they've been separated, uh, by no choice of their own, of course. But they have still managed to accomplish a lot, but they are a unit, and they are best when they are working as a team. Um, so I am, I'm so excited because, oh, I love Imperium so much. Yay. So I, oh, that video, pa okay, that video package, even if I didn't love Imperium, like, freaking super love them, Marcel is the greatest thing ever. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, uh, is a self-professed, uh, Mar number one fan of Marcel Bartel, uh, huge Imperium fan. Even putting all that aside, though, that package was badass, was it not? The music, the music they used, oh, I, it was so well put together, it was great, so we're just gonna end on that super happy note, because Imperium is the greatest, and I love them so much, and I'm so excited, because this looked like, after, um, things didn't exactly go great for the Dusty Classic, um, this looks like we are moving past that, so I am excited, and I hope you guys are excited too, especially about that, because I care about them so much. And um, I hope you're excited for NXT tonight. We'll see what happens. Um, so there was a jam-packed week in wrestling. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure you could find something in there to love, because there was a lot there. Like, subscribe, share, all of that stuff. Have a good night, guys. Love you. Bye. Mwah.